Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In one of my previous videos, I did mention to you guys that when I changed my way of eating, I made very small changes um, and just substituted foods. So I want to show you guys some examples of those. So let's get right into the video. Okay, so a craving that I get really often are chips. I love the crunchiness, I love the saltiness of chips, and just chips in general, I'm in love with. So something I like to substitute with are rice cakes. This is the tomato basil flavor. Not my favorite, but it is pretty good. My favorite um, is the white cheddar flavor. Kind of tastes like popcorn, but it's more crunchy, so it gives me the feeling that I'm eating chips. So I really recommend if you guys are chip people as well, grab maybe two of these, break them up into the bowl, and then it'll feel like you're eating chips. Like I said, there's a lot of flavor of these, so I think the calories vary from like 45 to 60 calories per rice cake. At most, I think I'll eat like two, which is about 100 to 120 calories. Usually those little chips are at least 140, 160 calories, and I think you get a lot more with this. Also, per serving, these only have two grams of fat, which compared to any other type of chips is really good. Also, I don't get a sweet tooth that often, but when I do, I crave chocolate. I I have tried the chocolate flavor. Shout out to my friend Kim because she let me try it for the first time and I fell in love. If you guys are chocolate people, I really recommend trying the chocolate flavor. When you eat them, it tastes like you're eating a dessert. You could also put some like peanut butter on it or eat it plain. I think it's good either way. I know these come in a lot more flavors that I haven't tried. So if you guys do pick these up in another flavor, let me know how you guys like them. Okay, so another snack that I like to have is popcorn and I really like this skinny popcorn. I also like it in the white cheddar flavor. You guys tell I like cheese. But this one is only 43 calories per cup, so it's not a big difference. Um, I think the serving size is actually three and a half cups, which is a lot of popcorn. I usually have about two cups, which is 86 calories for a snack that will definitely fill you up. I really recommend these if you guys like popcorn. It's just little differences like this of eating regular popcorn versus this one that will really make a difference in your calories. So this one has 150 calories per serving, but like I said, three and a half cups of this is a lot. So you're probably going to eat even less than that. And in that serving size, there's only one gram of fat. So I really recommend these if you guys like popcorn. Um, I found these at Walgreens, but I'm pretty sure they sell them everywhere. Walmart, everywhere. <laughs> so next I have this cereal. This is Kashi Goleen cereal. I'm sorry, I don't have the box because we usually just throw them away just to make room. Um, I'm gonna insert what the box is supposed to look like here um, because there are different flavors. So I'm not really a cereal person just because I feel like it's so much sugar and I don't really crave sugar in the morning. Um, I like to make like eggs and stuff like that. On the days that I don't have time to make breakfast, this is a really good go-to. Serving size of this is a cup and a fourth, which is a good amount of cereal. It's just like a regular bowl. It's 180 calories, 2 grams of fat, and 12 grams of protein. So I'm not going to lie, this cereal doesn't have like, it doesn't taste super good. It just tastes okay. What I like to do to make the flavor a little bit better and to make it um, higher in protein is I will take milk and I will mix it with a scoop of protein powder. I'll shake it up and then I'll use it as my milk for the cereal. Obviously use a uh, flavored protein. So whatever the flavor is, it gives it a lot more flavor. And like I said, it makes it higher in protein as well. So if you guys haven't tried Kashi Golin, I know there's other uh, flavors of this as well, um, but I think these ones are the ones that have the best macros. So if you are a cereal person and eat cereal pretty often, definitely try those. Also, another thing that I have substituted just to bring down my calories a lot of my meals is milk. It's the almond milk. Um, it's unsweetened and it only has 30 calories per cup. I have honestly never drank this on its own. I don't usually drink milk just like that, like as a beverage. I usually only drink milk if it's inside something else or I'm mixing it. Like you guys saw, I use this to make my pack. Like I said, I mix protein powder with milk to make that cereal. This is the milk I use just because it runs so much lower in calories. I don't switch to this milk to be more healthy because I'm pretty sure that regular milk has like more protein and more benefits, but this is just for if you're watching your calories and you're trying to, you know, like make something less calories, I definitely recommend using this type of milk versus just regular milk. Okay, I also now have the syrup that I was telling you guys about in my last video. If you guys haven't seen my how to make protein pancakes video, please go check it out. Um, this is the syrup that I'm telling you guys that I use. This is the sugar-free, butter-flavored 
Maple Grove Farms syrup. The only place I have found this at is Walmart. I looked for it at other places, but I couldn't find it. So if you are looking for this, um, Walmart. When I did that video, I was like, I'm just gonna show them regular syrup. And I looked in my fridge and I saw the calories on regular syrup. And I was, I didn't even know that syrup has like 200 calories per serving. That's so crazy to me because I've been using this so often when we do have our pancakes, it only has 15 calories per serving. I'm not gonna lie, you do have to use a little bit more of this just because it kind of gets soaked up in the pancakes. Honestly, I really like the flavor of this one. I don't think it tastes like diet. I think it tastes really good and I really recommend this if you guys eat pancakes often or just when you do eat pancakes. If you're trying to save some calories, definitely try this one out. Okay, so I have the core. This is called Core Power. It's a high protein milkshake. It's a high protein milkshake in vanilla flavor. I don't drink this as a protein shake though. I recently started using this as my creamer. In a previous video, I mentioned to you guys that a really good tip is to try to only drink water, but something that I can't stop drinking is coffee. I like to have coffee every single morning. Uh, coffee in itself doesn't have calories, but the thing that makes it unhealthy is the creamer that you add to it because it's all sugar. So I was like, what can I substitute it with to make it a little bit better, you know, so I don't feel so bad for drinking coffee every day. I decided to substitute my creamer for this. This alone has 240 calories, which sounds like a lot, but these are all really good calories. In the whole bottle, there's 26 grams of protein. For my creamer, I'm obviously not gonna put the whole bottle in one cup of coffee. I was planning to break it down into four servings, and so far I have had three cups, and it's like about to right here, so this could definitely be four servings of creamer. For me, I use a lot of creamer. If if you don't use that much creamer it could probably last you four to six servings i just like to have a lot of creamer and i like my coffee to be really sweet that being said i don't only put this in my coffee i put this and then i'll add a stevia just to make it uh, sweeter but this does have some sweetness in it so if you're someone who just kind of likes your coffee somewhat sweet i think all you would need is this like i said it has 240 calories but if you divide that by four that's 60 calories that's six grams of protein in my coffee alone if you guys are coffee drinkers and you're looking for something that is a little bit more nutritious, I guess, try this out. Another thing that I have substituted is peanut butter. I now eat PB2. If you guys don't know what this is, it comes in a powder form and then you have to mix it with either water or milk. I will mix it with the almond milk and I don't taste a huge difference. It has like half the calories of regular peanut butter because I think one tablespoon of peanut butter is 100 calories and this is 50. It also only has 1.5 grams of fat, which is really good. And it has five grams of protein. So if you are looking for this, I got it at Walmart. Okay, so the next thing I wanted to show you guys is this Halo Top ice cream. I've heard a lot of people talk about it, but I had never tried it for myself. If you guys don't know what it is, it's basically this whole tub has 320 calories. Serving size is half a cup, which is like, you basically you break it into fours because each serving only has 80 calories. This is so good. I have it in peanut butter flavor. I haven't tried it in any other flavor, but I'm planning to. It only has 3.5 grams of fat and it has 5 grams of protein. It's really good for your sweet tooth. So, you know, sometimes you just crave like ice cream or something, something cold. This is really good. I didn't expect it to taste so good just because it is so low in calorie, but I definitely, definitely recommend this one. I'm going to try out some more flavors. If you guys have tried this and you know some other flavors are good, please comment them down below so I can try them out. Okay, so that is it for the video. If you guys did like these examples and you want to hear some more, please don't forget to push the like button and let me know down below. Also, if there's any foods that you guys have heard of that are better in nutritional value that you guys want me to try out, please comment them down below and I'll make sure to try them out and let you guys know how I like them. Also, don't forget to subscribe to my channel and follow me on this fitness journey. And I'll see you guys in my next video.